Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another lesson in the English Grammar in Use book. Um, as I said before, this book is meant for an intermediate level. And if you would like to practice on your own, or if you have missed any lessons, we would recommend you buy the English Grammar in Use book. This is just if you want to touch up on anything by yourself. So today we will be taking lesson two. Lesson two covers present continuous and present simple. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Before we get started, hello, my name is Yusuf. I am from Cairo, Egypt, but I live and study in the United States of America. I will be your teacher for this course. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are comparing two different um, things. We're comparing present continuous and present simple, okay? So we're gonna start off with present continuous. Here we have our example, I am doing, all right? We use the continuous for things happening at or around the time of speaking, okay? The action is not complete, which means whenever you, do, whenever you say something like this, it means you're not done with what you're doing, all right? And then for present simple, we use the simple for the things in general or things that happen repeatedly, okay? So here we have a, a ton of examples for our present continuous. We have the water is boiling, be careful, okay? So this is present continuous because it's saying that the water is boiling. That doesn't mean it's done boiling, okay? It's boiling now, doesn't mean it's done, all right? And then we have, listen to those people. What language are they speaking? Okay. Um, then we have, let's go out. It isn't raining now. All right. I'm busy. What are you doing? Okay. I'm getting hungry. Let's go and eat. All right. Kate wants to work in Italy, so she's learning Italian. The population of the world is increasing very fast. So these are all examples of things that are happening currently and aren't finished. OK, so whenever, for example, whenever it says the population of the world is increasing very fast, that means that it's not done increasing, it's not finished, but it has started or it is doing it. So we use the continuous for temporary situations, okay? And what I said, temporary, you know, it means that something is going to finish at some point, it's going to end. So I'm living with some friends until I find a place of my own, all right? And then we have the first person saying, you're working hard today. And B, yes, I have a lot to do. All right. So that's just a quick overview over the present continuous. Now we want to move on to the present simple. So here we have our examples. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Now this is present simple because this happens every single time. All right. And you can do this whenever you can do this in the past, in the present, in the future. So it happens every single time. Now we have, excuse me, do you speak English? All right. It doesn't rain very much in the summer. What do you usually do at weekends? I always get hungry in the afternoon. Most people learn to swim when they are children. Every day, the population of the world increases by about 200,000 people. All right. So sometimes present simple is a lot more specific than present continuous. Okay. Like, for example, here we just have the water is boiling. But for present simple, we have more facts as saying that the water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. All right. So. We use the simple for permanent situations, things that will always happen or will continue for a long time. All right. My parents live in London. 
They have lived there all their lives. Okay. Joe isn't lazy. He works hard most of the time. All right. So that's an overview over the present continuous and the present simple. Okay. So now we have, I always do and I'm always doing. All right. So I always do means I do it every time. And an example of that could be something like, I always go to work by car. All right. And you would not say something like, I'm always going to work by car, because that just doesn't make sense. And then you have, I'm always doing is I do it often or more often than normal. But that doesn't have to mean you do it all the time. So, for example, we have a, a lady, she's saying, I've lost my keys again. I'm always losing them. So I'm always losing means that she loses them a lot. But that doesn't have to mean she loses them all the time. Okay? If, if she said, I always lose them, instead of I'm always, if she just said, I always lose them, it means she loses them every single time. Okay? So... Paul is never satisfied. He's always complaining, which means he's complaining too much. He, he doesn't complain all the time, but he complains too much. You're away or, or you're always looking at your phone. Don't you have anything else to do? All right. So that means, you know, they're looking at their phone a little bit too much than they should be. All right. So here we have some exercises. So we have underlined verbs. Okay. And remember, verbs are the action. It's what people are doing. So we have to say if they're okay or if, they, if we have to correct them, if we have to change them. Okay. Um, so number one, we have water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. That's okay. Number two, how often are you going to the cinema? All right. That one is incorrect. So we'd have to change it to how often do you go to the cinema? All right. So number three, Ben tries to find a job, but he hasn't had any luck yet. Do we need to change that one? For number three, there is something we do need to change because Ben tries to find a job is not correct. It should be Ben is trying to find a job. All right. So number three would be Ben is trying to find a job. Number four, Martina is phoning her mother every day. Yeah, that one would be Martina phones her mother every day. Good. Five, the moon goes round the earth in about 27 days. Is that one okay? That one is okay. Good. Um, six, can you hear those people? What do they talk about? Is that one good? What are they talking about? Good. Number seven, what do you do in your spare time? What about that one? That one's okay. Good. All right. Number eight, Sarah is a vegetarian. She doesn't eat meat. That one's also okay. Good. I must go now. It gets late. It is getting late. Good. All right. Number 10. Come on. It's time to leave. Okay. I come. What about that one? Okay. 
Okay, I am coming. Good. Paul is never late. He's always starting work on time. All right. Is that one good? Yes, that one is good. Good. They don't get on well. They're always arguing. That one is also okay. Good, good. Okay. Now, for the next part, we have to put the verb into the correct form. All right. So it could be either present continuous or present simple. All right. So number one, the example is I usually get hungry in the afternoon. All right. And then number two, we have I get hungry. Let's go eat something. And they change it to I'm getting hungry. Let's go eat something. Okay. So number two, for A, it says, you listen to the radio. No, you can turn it off. So what would we want to put for A? Are you listening? Good. Okay, number, and then uh, part B, it says, you listen to the radio a lot. No, not very often. Do you listen to the radio a lot? Good. All right. Three, the river Nile flow into the Mediterranean. Flows, good. The river Nile flows into the Mediterranean. And what about B? The river flow very fast today, much faster than usual. Okay. To, that one would be the river can it can either be the river is flowing very fast today or it can be the river was flowing very fast today either one works and then number four i'm not very active i not do any sport i don't do any sport good and then part B, what you usually do at weekends. What do you usually do at weekends? Good. All right. Five. Rachel is in New York right now. She stay at the Park Hotel. She is staying. Good. And then B. She always stay there when she's in New York. That one would be she always stays there when she's in New York. All right. Good. Good. Okay. Now we're going to keep putting the verbs into the correct form. Okay. So Julia is good at languages. She speak four languages very well. What do we put in the blank? She speaks four languages very well. Good. Uh, number three. Are you ready yet? Everybody wait for you. What about that one? Everybody is waiting for you. All right. Um, four. I've never heard this word. How you pronounce it. How do you pronounce it? Good. Five. Kate, not work this week. She's on holiday. Kate isn't working or Kate is not working. Both of them work. Six, I think my English improved slowly. It's better than what it was, or it's better than it was. I think my English is improving slowly. Good. Nicola live in Manchester. She has never lived anywhere else. 
Nicola lives in Manchester. Good. Can we stop walking soon? I start to get tired. I am starting to get tired. Good. Sam and Tina are in Madrid right now. They visit a friend of theirs. They are visiting a friend of theirs. Good. 10. What your father do? He's an architect. Okay, what does your father do? Good. Number 11. It took me an hour to get to work this morning. Most days it not take so long. Most days it does not take so long. Good. 12. I learn to drive. My friend, my driving test is next month. My father teach me. So this one would be, I am learning to drive. My driving test is next month. And my father is teaching me. All right. So for this part, the next one, we have to finish the sentences. And we have to use something like always and then a verb with ing. Okay. So the car has broken down again. That car is useless. It blank. So what about that one? What, what do you what can we say for that one? It is always breaking down. Okay. Number three, look, you've made the same mistake again. And then the person says, oh no, not again. And then blank. What can we say for that? I'm always making this mistake. All right, good. And then four. Oh, I've left my phone at home again. And then it says typical and then blank. What about that one? Typical, you're always leaving your phone at home. All right, good. All right. Now we have the second half of the present continuous and present simple. All right. So we use continuous forms like I'm waiting, it's raining, etc., for actions and happenings that have started but not finished. Some verbs, for example, no and like, are not normally used this way or used in this way. We don't say I am knowing or something like they are liking. We say I know and they like. The following verbs are not normally used in the present continuous, okay? We have like, want, need, prefer, know, realize, understand, recognize, believe, suppose, remember, mean, belong, fit, contain, consist, and seem, okay? So first one, I'm hungry. I want something to eat, okay? Do you understand what I mean? Right. Anna doesn't seem very happy right now. Okay. So then we have when think means believe or have an opinion, we do not use the continuous. All right. I think Mary is Canadian, but I'm not sure. Okay. Or what do you think of my idea? which is asking for someone's opinion, okay? So when think means consider, the continuous is possible, all right? I'm thinking about what happened. I often think about it. Or Nikki is thinking of giving up her job. She is considering it, 
okay? So now we have see, hear, smell, taste, look, feel. So these are all of the senses, all right? So we normally use the present simple with um, see, hear, smell, taste, okay? So for example, do you see that man over there? Or the room smells, let's open a window. Or this soup doesn't taste very good, okay? And you can use the present simple or continuous to say how somebody looks or feels now. So you look well today or you're looking well today. How do you feel now or how are you feeling now? And then we could also have something like, I usually feel tired in the morning. That could be like an answer. Um, so then we have M is our being. So you can say he's being or your being, etc., to say how somebody is behaving. Okay. I can't understand why he's being so selfish. He isn't usually like that. Okay. So being selfish means behaving selfishly right now. Now we have the path is icy. Don't slip. Don't worry. I'm being very careful. Okay. So being very careful means being careful right now. So now we have, he never thinks about other people. He's very selfish, all right? Which means he is selfish generally and doesn't have to be selfish right now. Or I don't like to take risks. I'm a very careful person. Now saying I'm a very careful person means you're careful all the time, okay? So we use am, is, are, being to say how a person is behaving as we talked about, Um which also means like they're doing something that they can control, okay? It is not usually possible in other situations. So you can say Sam is ill, but you can't say is being ill, or you can say, are you tired? But you can't say something like, are you being tired? All right, so here are the exercises. Uh, we have to put the verbs in the correct forms like we did before. So number two, Alan says he's 90 years old, but nobody believe him. So what could we do for that one? Alan says he's 90 years old, but nobody believes him. Good. All right. She told me her name, but I not remember it now. What could we do for that one? But I don't remember it now. Good. Number four, don't put the dictionary away. I use it. What about that one? I am using it. Good. Now, number five, don't put the dictionary away. I need it. Yeah, that one would just be I need it. So six, air consists mainly of ontogen. Uh, of nitrogen and oxygen. Air consists mainly of nitrogen and oxygen. Good. Or you can say something like air consists of mainly. Either one works. Um, who is that man? What he want. What does he want? Good. Um, who is that man? Why he look at us. Who is that man? Why is he looking at us? Good. All right. And then who is that man? You recognize him. All right. Um, so that one would be, who is that man? Do you recognize him? Good. Okay. Number 10. I think of selling, uh, of selling my car. Would you be interested in buying it? What about that one? 
I'm thinking, good. I can't make up my mind what you think I should do. What do you think I should do? Good. Gary wasn't well earlier, but he seemed okay now. But he seems okay now. All right, good. Okay. Now, uh, we use the words in the brackets, like, you not seem very happy today. And we make sentences with them. Okay. So, number two. The girl says, are you okay? You look worried. And then the guy looks like he's thinking. All right. So this could be, I am thinking, or I'm thinking of something, anything like that. Okay. Number three. Who this umbrella belongs to or belong to. And the person says, I have no idea. So what can we write this sentence? Who does this umbrella belong to? Good. Okay. Now, number four, this smell good. This smells good, good. Okay, now number five, excuse me, anybody sit there. Is anybody sitting there, good. And then the last one, these gloves not fit me, they're too small. These gloves do not fit me. Good. All right. And then the last bit um, here, we want to say if it's okay or if we need to fix it. So number three, I'm feeling hungry. Is there anything to eat? Is that one okay? That one's okay. Good. Number four, I've never eaten that fruit. What is it tasting like? Is that one okay? What does it taste like? Good. So it's not okay. Um, number five, I'm not sure what she does. I think she works in a shop. Is that one okay? Yeah, it is good. Number six, look over there. What are you seeing? What do you see? Good. Um, and then number seven, you're very quiet. What are you thinking about? That one's okay. All right, good. And then for the last part, we have to complete the sentences, okay? So we have to use things like is, are, being, or is, are, all right? So two, you'll like Sophie when you meet her. She, very nice. She is very nice, good. Three, Sarah, blank, very nice to meet at the moment. I wonder why. That one would be is being. Okay, good. Four, they blank very happy. They've just got married. They are very happy. Good. Number five, you're normally very patient. So why blank so unreasonable about waiting 10 more minutes? So why are you being? All right. Good. And number six, would you like something to eat? Blank hungry. Are you hungry? Good, good, good. All right. Well, thank you all for attending today. You all did a great job and I enjoyed having all of your input. Um, before we end off, I would just like to remind you, don't forget to submit any previous homeworks. They will all be in the video descriptions.
So again, thank you all, and I will see you next time.